Oh, guys, it's bad, but I have a super random ice cream craving which needs to be fulfilled. Right now, we are on the way to the ice cream bar. I got a pint over my birthday. I had some Bacardi Crunch, I had some passion fruit ice cream, and I've slowly been savoring it over the past month. But now that I'm done with it, I want to restock. And here we are on the way to the ice cream bar. It's a Tiffany cafe! I always get so excited when I see that. But like, I don't actually know what they serve. Okay, so guys, ice cream bar is near Tiffany cafe. I honestly, I think you'll find it easier to remember ice cream bar than it is to remember Tiffany cafe. Hi guys, it's me, Tiffany, also known as Taco Tiffy. We are parked outside the ice cream bar. I didn't choose ice cream bar. Ice cream bar chose me. That doesn't make any sense. Ever since my birthday when I got a pint of Bacardi Crunch ice cream and passion fruit ice cream from the ice cream bar, I've been slowly savouring it day by day. I will tell myself to ration it out because girl, I can finish an entire pint in like one sitting. This round, I managed to make it last about an entire month. So I think this restock is well deserved. Let's go! So we just left the ice cream bar because there is no dining allowed due to COVID restrictions and they have a buy one free one offer for coffee and tea but we didn't get that because also it's takeaway so might as well just drive home get an ice cream make our own coffee have it all at home we chose pistachio which is some super super double premium flavor it costs how much did it cost 37 ringgit a pint and then we also got a guinness brownie combo which is i think like 35 a pint <laughs> so it was packed. They put the date for you. They tell you what it is. I normally eat straight out of the pint. Woo! Mm. But to be considerate. We got bowls. We got pistachio, which is the double premium one. <laughs> and they pack it so incredibly tight. This is amazing. You know what? The ice cream is expected to leave this mark. If it does not, they didn't pack it full enough. So that's pistachio and the other one we got is this Guinness chocolate brownie flavor and it has actual brownie pieces in it it's also packed super tight it does not have this oh wait it does it does so it passes the test okay I am so excited to try this the bag is also really pretty I can see myself using this a lot I can see myself taking this to the grocery store all friends here right so let's 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 have it together I think it's the perfect consistency it's like gloriously creamy. Okay. Ugh. So let me just let me just take another serving of that. Oh. Mm. Oh my goodness. Man. This is good. It's so creamy. It kind of tastes like sesame. Does that make sense? My goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay. If you guys like pistachio, you will love this. Like, amazing. It's just so glorious. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Two seconds later. Okay. This had a super short lifespan. And now, on to... The next one! I'm gonna let you guys see the texture as I scoop it out. Ooh, that is 
smooth. Okay, now it is time to try the Guinness brownie one. I am a sucker for flavors with brownie chunks. So let's see how this fares. The brownie chunk. Mmm, that's something. And the kick. So Guinness is a stout and it is perfect in ice cream. Okay, if you like chewy brownie textures, then go for this Guinness brownie. If you like crispy, crunchy stuff, go for the Bacardi Crunch because that's pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It's like melted soup already at this point because I took so long to film. That's what I do for us guys, for our YouTube. But man, it is like a glorious, sweet, cold alcohol cocktail. Mmm. It makes you feel so grown up, you know? It's like ice cream has always been traditionally very, you know, you have it as a child, right? And I feel we can live it in a whole new way just because now we can have an alcoholic version. It's glorious. It's amazing. It's a new way of revisit ice cream. If you haven't had any sort of alcoholic ice cream, consider this place. To make it even better, Seth just brought me an iced coffee. <laughs> You're welcome. Mm. Oh, wait, you didn't say Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have another analogy. So you know how like coffee and ice cream go really well together with like an affogato? That is kind of the feel you get with like an alcoholic ice cream. You get that bitterness from the alcohol, but the sweetness and the indulgences of ice cream. Basically, ice cream is childhood and coffee and alcohol is like adulthood. And then when you have them together, you just feel like, you know what, I can handle being in my 20s. Okay, so now it's Seth's turn to try it. So. Hmm, I mean it's very nice. It's definitely not your standard pistachio flavor. It tastes is much creamier. My verdict is that it's, it's very tasty, very creamy. And because of that, I'm not really getting as much pistachio, but it's still enjoyable to eat. Okay, I'm gonna finish this off now. All right, now I'm gonna try this Guinness brownie one. Oh, you can smell the Guinness all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. I like the combination. I think it goes well together. I really like it. They could put a bit more Guinness on it though. <laughs>